The best way to gain self-confidence is to make it your practice to do what you're afraid to do. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's message, our friends at Brainy Dose talk with us about how to boost your self-confidence. Enjoy. Self-confidence is how we feel about ourselves. It is a feeling. We tend to be most confident when we look good, feel accomplished, and feel supported. One of the toughest things is having to act confident when you're not feeling that way. Fortunately, there are many things you can do to elevate how you feel about yourself, which in turn will improve your self-esteem. Here are 10 simple tricks to help boost your confidence. Number one, take care of yourself. Self-confidence depends on a combination of good physical, emotional, and social health. It is hard to feel good about yourself if you don't like your physique or constantly have low energy. Make time to cultivate good exercise, eating, and sleeping habits. In addition, dress the way you want to feel. Build your self-confidence by making the effort to look after your own needs. Number 2. Visualize yourself as you want to be. Our self-image means so much to us, often more than we realize. We have a mental picture of ourselves and it determines how confident we feel. When we struggle with low self-confidence, we have a poor perception of ourselves that is often inaccurate. Visualization is the technique of seeing an image of yourself that you are proud of in your own mind. So practice visualizing the best version of yourself. Number three, improve your posture. Posture plays a huge role in feeling and looking confident. Standing tall with your chest out and shoulders back screams confidence and can even trick you into feeling more confident. Try to imagine a string coming out the top of your head, pulling you into an upright position. This will help you look taller and broader, while in the process making you feel more confident and capable. Number four, affirm yourself. We tend to behave in accordance with our own self-image. The trick to making a lasting change is to change how you view yourself. We believe whatever we tell ourselves constantly, and affirmations are positive uplifting statements that we say to ourselves. For example, if you don't like something about your physical appearance, practice saying something that you appreciate or like about yourself when you look in the mirror. Number 5. Put in the work. It's hard to be confident when you don't think you'll do well at something. Beat that feeling by preparing yourself as much as possible, whether it's public speaking, a road test, or something else entirely. You need to know what you're doing and how to do it. To be confident in something, you need to practice it. No one ever felt confident doing something for the first time, the tenth time, or even the hundredth time. Number six, redefine fear and failure. Your relationship with fear and failure can hold you back and cause your self-confidence to plummet. To help prevent this from happening, you need to change the way you think about fear and failure. Try to see fear as the opportunity to progress and failure as the chance to gather valuable feedback on what you need to work on. By doing this, fear and failure become tools for progression instead of reasons not to do something. Number seven, empower yourself with knowledge. Empowering yourself in general is one of the best strategies to build self-confidence. You can do this in many ways, but one of the best ways to empower yourself is through knowledge. By becoming more knowledgeable, you'll be more confident and you become more knowledgeable by doing research and studying. You can find information on the internet, read books and magazines, or take courses. You can also learn from people around you who have done what you want to achieve. Number eight shift to an equality mentality. People with low self-confidence see others as better or more deserving than themselves. Instead of carrying this perception, see yourself as being equal to everyone. They are no better or more deserving than you. Make a mental shift to an equality mentality and you will automatically see an improvement in your confidence. Number nine, embody confidence. 
Whenever you find yourself out of your comfort zone, whether by chance or choice, stop for a moment. Close your eyes and think of a time when you felt confident and self-assured. Use all of your senses to bring yourself back to that moment. By doing this, you'll be more able to cultivate that feeling in the present moment. Or just think about how a confident person would act in that situation and do what they would do. You'll be amazed at how soon you'll find yourself feeling confident and capable. Number 10. Smile Yeah, you probably heard this one a thousand times, but it really does work. You see, we are social beings and we thrive on social interaction, specifically positive social interaction. It can make us feel happy, confident, and content. Think about how your mood changes when someone smiles back at you, or even how it changes when you just crack a smile to yourself. So next time you feel low in confidence, try smiling. It will make you feel a lot better. Confidence plays a vital role in your ability to achieve success and happiness in your professional and personal life. It affects almost everything you do, from what you think to what you say and even how you look. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.